Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Commander Hall. Hopefully you guys is having a great morning. Right here in Florida right now, it's a little after four o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Still have a few more hours to go here. But uh, guys, I hate to sound like a broken record guys, but uh, once again, I want to stress the fact of how important it is to stay awake and to be alert. And the reason why this is so heavily on my mind right now is because about an hour ago, the owner of the facility where I'm patrolling actually popped up on me. Um, he told me that he was at home and he couldn't sleep. So he hopped in his vehicle and he drove a hour to the facility just to check things out, see how things is going, uh, make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And uh, of course I was on point doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, when he arrived, I was out on foot walking around like I'm doing now. And uh, we were just kind of chatting and everything a little bit, you know, just kind of, you know, shooting the breeze a little bit. And, um, you know, he told me uh, he's happy that I'm here and everything. And, uh, of course, I started to kind of pick his brain as well. And I was like, man, you know, how are we looking as far as in something, you know, long term? And he was telling me that um, him and his team, you know, they had a budget meeting recently. And keeping us long term would actually put them outside of their budget. And uh, but he said that we definitely need it. And um, I told him, I said, hey, man, um, I said, uh, you know, customer service is uh, number one for me. And I said, I'm quite sure it's number one for you as well. I said, you have customers here who leaving um, their belongings in your hands. And uh, I said, you have you have had multiple catalyst converters stolen. Uh, you have invested so much money in lighting and cameras and electric fence and all that kind of stuff. And it still isn't working for you guys. I told him. Uh, you know, we're definitely needed. I told him that sometimes having a actual physical uh, presence is what's going to help deter these crimes. And he was like, man, it just don't make no sense. You know, he said we invested and we got these new LED lights and, uh, you know, solar lights and a new electric fence. And they invested so much money to try to kind of not necessarily need security. But all the money they have spent uh, so far, it still isn't working. People are still getting in here. So I told them, I said, man, it's important. I said, I know that you guys don't want to go over budget or whatever. I said, but you guys, number one priority is the customers. And you want to keep your customers happy. And you don't want to have to report to your customers that, you know, their belongings have been stolen or something has happened to it or whatever. You don't want to do that. You know, you want to offer the best service possible um, to your customers and I told them that you know it may be over your budget but I said you won't regret it I said just think about how many customers that you would gain having that extra element here just having that extra element here I said you just said it yourself you guys invested so much money and I said the facility looks amazing but it still isn't stopping the crime. I told him, I said, having us here with marked vehicles and lights and out on foot with flashlights, that's what's going to help deter crime because the criminals is going to see that it's actually a physical person here on the premises. I told him that this day and time, cameras work, bright lights work, but a lot of times criminals, they don't care about that. You know, they still willing to chance it and go through with it anyways. And uh, I told him that just having us here, that physical presence is what's needed to help. And I said, you're going to save money in the long run because you're not going to have to replace things that's being stolen or damaged or whatever. And he was like, man, you absolutely right. And I told him, I said, you know, the rate that I quoted you guys, I said, don't let that deter you as well. I said, you know, our services is definitely needed here. And we want to offer you the ultimate service, the, the best service that you guys can have. You know, because I said it's a win win for us both. I said, I want to offer you the best service. And obviously you want to offer your customers the best service ever. So I said, let's work it out, man. I said, let's not worry about what I quoted you. I said, let's work it out. I said, if the numbers is a problem, let's work on the numbers. I said, I'm willing to do that for you. I'm willing to go the extra mile to win your, you know, to win your trust, you know, to win, you know, your services or whatever. And he was like man that's amazing or whatever and he was like well he said can i get your opinion on something else i said yes sir any questions you have i'm willing to answer them. he was like well we have three facilities 
And he said, we would love to have you guys at all three of our facilities. But he said, this is the only facility that we have issues at. I said, well, if you guys have three facilities and you never have any issues at the other facilities, I said, let's just take it one day at a time. I said, no, we trying to stay in budget. I said, let's try to just one step at a time. I said, let's go ahead and focus on the facility where you have any issues, which is the one where I'm at now. I said, let's put all our time and effort here. I said, now in the future, once the budget is increased or whatever, if you guys decide that you want us to do a few patrols at some of the other locations, we could do that as well. I even told him that if you want, we could even stop by one of the other locations on the way coming here, a quick run through, and then we could come here. And then when we leave here, we can do another little quick patrol at the other facility. So I told him, man, it's always a way. I said, don't worry about that. Don't let it get, you know, don't let it consume you. Or don't let it, you know, don't don't become overwhelmed. I told him, I'm, I'm in your corner and I'm here to gain your trust and to gain, you know, that, you know, that, that relationship element with you. And he was like, wow, man, I'm really blown away. I'm really amazed and everything. And I was like, yes, sir. You know, that's what we're here for. And, um, yeah, we talked about some different things and, um, I told him, you know, I, like I told you guys, you have to sell yourself sometimes, you know, me talking to the owner of this company and just kind of just upselling myself, you know, selling my services, man. That's what I was doing. You know, it, you got to understand that I was able to turn that whole conversation around. It started with, you know, him being kind of hesitant, you know, talking about the budget. Now I don't call this attention because I'm talking about, you know, don't worry about the, the quote and just talking about the customer service aspect and him keeping his customers happy. Like I was focusing more on him and from a business mindset that I have myself, I was focusing more on him and him keeping his customers happy and actually gaining more customers and stuff like that. So now in his head, he was like, you know what? He's right. You know, um, not only is his services needed, but it's going to save us money in the long run and we're going to have happy customers in the long run and that's what it's all about because if the customers is upset then you're going to lose money and that's not what we want so um you know i i really you know did my best with him and he was like man wow he just kept saying wow these these isn't my words this is his words he kept saying wow you know he was really shocked he was really amazed at the things i was saying and um i think that he's going to even if he have to stretch the budget or whatever, I think he's gonna go through with it because I now he really understand and see how, how important it is to have us here. I told him it's a difference. I said cameras, lights, that's all good, but I said it's nothing like having a physical presence on the property. Hey guys, please like, share, subscribe, and I see you guys in the next video.